so excited for today's video. I, I just can't contain myself. I finally popped my Glossier Cherry and did a massive order during their Black Friday sale. I don't know, am I like one of the last people trying this brand? I truly feel that way because I feel that Glossier exploded, what, two years ago-ish? I just never took the plunge. I never took the plunge to try any of their products. I finally did a massive order. I have a little bit of everything. I just want to get into this, try it on, give you my thoughts. Yeah, we just need to get going here. So <laughs> I don't even introduce myself. I'm Krisha. Welcome to Zagami Beauty. I invite you to subscribe, to like, to comment, and I'm so excited. So let's not waste any more time and get straight into the haul and try on and oh! All the good stuff. So in case there's someone else that hasn't tried the brand, I just want to give you a quick intro on what I think the premise for this brand is. I think the intention with this makeup is to look literally like you didn't do anything and just enhance it by just that little bit. It's definitely not makeup that's going to give you a ton of coverage from my understanding. Probably for a lot more younger girls than me. I'm 40 years old. I usually like to put on a little bit more makeup, but I'm also a mom and when I'm not going out or going to work, I usually don't wear any makeup and I feel like this would be the perfect type of makeup just to put on on those days where I want my skin to breathe but I just want a little bit of something something on my face loving makeup having a lot of makeup it literally goes from zero to a hundred like that if I can have products that are just that sheer and that natural looking no matter how much you build them up this is probably gonna be perfect for those days off so it's so packaged with that typical Ziploc pink packaging. And then we have this beautiful bag of goodies. There was a bunch of kits that were like literally 40% off. I just went crazy. I did get their milky jelly cleanser, which we're not gonna try today. We'll see how this goes. It came as part of a kit. Then we have the Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. This is supposed to be a product where you put on before your makeup to give it a little bit more of a dewy kind of juicy look. So definitely gonna try that on. Got some cloud paints. These are the creamy blushes, one in puff and one in storm. I also got the hand cream, came as part of the skin kind of kit. I got the perfecting skin tint and this is going to be in the shade G10. We'll see, it was really hard to choose the colors and I didn't wanna go too light because of the coverage already being so supposedly light. G10 in the stretch concealer. I have really bad under eye circles naturally, just the shape of my eye and the fact that I don't sleep because I have toddlers that sometimes wake up with bad dreams. I just, again, wanted to try it because I think on those days off where I'm not wearing anything, this is better than I think nothing, just to kind of feel a little bit more put together, right? The boy brow, which is a thickening brow pomade. And the last thing I got was the Lash Slick Mascara. Again, a very natural looking mascara. Not usually what I go for. Usually I like to pump up my lashes as much as possible. We so. shall see, I'm super excited you guys. So first things first is let's prep the skin. I'll put on this Future Dew. Ooh, the packaging, so pretty. This is supposed to be a product to enhance the look of your skin. It says apply two pumps all over the face as the last step in your skin routine. So we'll just put in a couple pumps. Very sort of pinky, slight sheen to it. Oh, it smells delicious. A light, fresh, herbally scent. Oh, wow. It's making my skin look so shiny, but in the most healthy way imaginable. This will be perfect, because sometimes I'll do my skincare routine, and then I'm gonna go get my kids ready. By the time I go back and do my makeup, you know, if they're kind of just playing and ready, or if they're downstairs with dad or whatever, then I have some time to put on makeup, but the skincare has soaked in already. This will be a nice thing to put on just before I make up to kind of revive it and get it kind of like plump and juicy again. And it has sort of a smooth texture, but it's still quite creamy. So it does feel like it's a pseudo skincare and primer type product. I really like the texture of it. Let's just see the ingredients. You're gonna get squalene glycerin right at the top, and some jojoba oil, evening primrose oil, grapeseed oil. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is definitely more of a skincare product. Rosemary leaf oil, which gives it that scent. I love this, and I don't even see any silicone. Just scanning through five million times. As far as I can tell, there's no silicone. This is beautiful, love it. Next thing we're gonna do is definitely put on a little bit of a skin tint. So, we'll use the skin tint. Shake, smooth over, moisturize skin with fingertips, blend upward and outward for sheer coverage and instant dewiness. This is the bottle, nothing new, I'm sure you guys have seen a million times. And again, I got it in the shade G10. I just put maybe like five drops. I might need more, we shall see. 
nothing crazy scent wise and nothing crazy coverage wise but it feels beautiful moisturizing truly like not much coverage 0 to 10 it's like a 0.5 to 1 but we'll put on a little bit more it has sort of that creamy sort of build upon itself film like consistency and again just fresh dewy youthful love it Alright, let's put the concealer on next. Again, this is supposed to be a very light concealer. Kind of move with your skin. Just a little container like that. We're going to go in and just use our fingers. Not as light coverage as I thought. It just kind of fills in those gaps where the tint maybe was too light. And you can just kind of build up the coverage around your nose, of course the eyes. I'm really impressed, this is so pretty. I'm gonna set it just a little bit. My Guerlain Meteorites powder to set the under eye. My Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder just to kind of gently set the T-zone. Nothing crazy, but just to take down some of the excess shine. <laughs> Next, let's go in with the brow boy. Let's get those brows on. I usually have a lot more issues with the tail of my brow that I haven't been able to grow in. I'm going to go in with this first and then I might just fill in the tail with my pencil. Small brush, very similar to the Benefit one. I got it in the shade brown and I usually like a little bit of a longer brow brush so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so it's not overly pigmented. Quite nice. I find the Benefit one gets too clumpy on the brush and then it's just really hard to work through the brows. Love it. The tint is really, really pretty, quite neutral. Again, just for a very natural look, like you're not trying hard. Okay, I'm just gonna fill in my tail with the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I like it. Again, very natural. It's a kind of like a model off-duty type look. Is that what they call it? Model off-duty. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about, so don't mind me. Okay, so let's do eyes next. I'm just going to put a little bit, actually, of the Charlotte Tilbury pots on my eyes, just to give it a little bit of color. This is in the shade Sunset Rose. Just gonna throw a little bit of bronzer in the crease. I'm gonna use my Hourglass, one of the ambient palettes. I believe this is Edit 4. I should have done this first, but that's okay. I sometimes find those pots from Charlotte Tilbury go a little bit patchy if you don't blend fast enough. I feel like that's what happened, but that's okay. All right, you guys, next is the mascara, which I'm kind of nervous about because, I don't know, I feel like a natural looking mascara, like who am I kidding? I like a bit of drama on my eyes, so. We shall see. Oh my gosh, the cutest pink packaging. Wow. I didn't do any liner, but that's okay. I just want to see how the mascara looks without liner. Ooh, I like the brush already. A very, very rubbery, relatively thin bristled brush. Reminds me of the Chanel Inimitable Intense. Let's go in. Oh, wow. It is literally like your lashes, but better. It's literally like you're not wearing mascara, but you have really just naturally pretty lashes. No build up really effect, just lengthening, adding a bit of a tint. It's there just to literally make it seem like your lashes are naturally like this. Like you woke up with just naturally slightly defined darker lashes. Perfection. And this little wand has grip, so as I'm putting on more layers, it's really gripping to the lashes and allowing it to build up upon itself, but not in a mascara makeup-y kind of way. It just gave me that very naturally defined look. All right, you guys, next I'm gonna put on a little bit of bronzer. We're just gonna go with this Ambient 4 palette, just kinda do a little bit of a bronze, nothing crazy. And I just find bronze necessary just to kind of like warm up the face a bit. I can't be without it. <laughs> How about you guys? Do you guys need to bronze each day? Next, we're going to put on one of the cloud paints. First one is going to be in the color Storm. This one looked really pretty, just a naturally flushed look. Looks quite red. But I'm sure it'll go on sheer like everything else. Okay, it's quite pigmented and we need to blend fast. Ah! Ah! 
little bit messy when I'm trying to do this on camera, but I think it looks pretty. I think it's just a very naturally flushed, sort of like a cranberry bronzy shade. I really, really like it. But I do want to top it with a little bit of the other shade, Puff, which is one of their really most popular shades. Very light pink. And let's just put this on top. That's weird. It's going patchy. Let's see here. I tried to layer the two cloud paints upon each other. It was starting to go patchy, so I don't know what to do. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the Storm on. Let's use a stipple brush, see if that helps. Yeah, it's better. I like it better with a brush, you guys. I feel like the finger just absorbs too much product, so I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side and then blend it in with the brush. Yeah, way better. Oh, I love that. Not a product issue, bit of an application adjustment. Now my skin is so glowy and naturally dewy from all of these products that I've been putting on so I don't feel like I really need a highlighter, especially if it's just going to be an everyday look. I mean, who are we kidding? Okay, whatever, let's just put a little bit of highlighter on. <laughs> I'll just take the really kind of more natural highlighter from this palette. Done. I think that is it, you guys. Did I use everything I wanted to use? I think so. I really, really think so. Crazy. I actually feel like this is a no makeup makeup. A little bit of Lip Dior Glow in hollow pink. And I'm, I'm off to the races. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. I love this so much, you guys. I am so, so impressed with how this turned out. What do you guys think? I mean, this is definitely not a super glam look or anything like that. I feel that I would love to wear this when I'm just at home with the girl or on the weekend these products have such a natural almost like sheer texture to them that you can put a little bit more on and you're not gonna get a ton of coverage too fast. I love that because I love playing with makeup. I feel like if I'm just so careful with a lot of my more pigmented products it's not even fun anymore because you have to be so careful so then I just don't bother. But with these, I can go in, I can do my makeup, I can put on my mascara and do a couple coats and it still ends up looking natural. I can go in with the blush and just kind of put a little bit more on and it still looks sheer and natural. I am so impressed. I love everything. I don't even know what is my favorite. I mean, I love the Future Dew. Like that underneath the skin tint is just creating the most beautiful, dewy, plump look. And there's skincare in this because I told you guys this has beautiful oils in it. Hyaluronic acid, squalene. Oh, the like, mascara is, again, beautiful because it just gives me the most beautiful I have these lashes naturally look, which I don't, obviously. Um, the stretch concealer, more coverage than I thought. And this is coming from a girl who has really significant under eye circles. Cloud paints are beautiful, especially if you use it with the stippling brush. I personally think that works the best. The skin tint is so beautiful too. I did two layers of it. The color is good. I am so happy how well this turned out because I waited so long and I did have my anticipation and expectations sort of on the highest level and sometimes it's not always a good thing because then you get disappointed. My expectations have been met. They have been surpassed. Don't expect a glam look out of any of this. You will then be disappointed but I expected a Sunday or weekend look out of this and that is exactly what I got. Let me know what your thoughts are on this look. Let me know if you've tried Glossier, what you think about it, what's your favorite product from the brand. I love them all equally right now. I hope you had fun today. I hope it was informative. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.